trip? Well, my experience with the mission trip is that kids should come and learn about God and understand how everything works and just have fun. Okay. Tell me how this mission trip has impacted your life with God. It impacted my life with God to serve other people and help them out before doing yourself and then do what's good for you. That's great. Okay, so last Gabby, how does this mission trip change you as a person? It changed me by being a good person and respecting each other and helping your family understand anything they don't know. Hi everyone, my name is Laura Rivas and I'm a member of Primera Iglesia for six months now. I moved from New Jersey and yeah, I'm happy to be here. Well, when I first heard that you guys were coming over, I was really excited to hear that other church was willing to take their time and their resources to help us because we don't have those kind of resources to reach the community and you guys coming over with your resources and also bringing people to help us is really an inspiration to all of us. It's really exciting to see young people coming to serve God and it's inspired. I feel inspired in my relationship with God to give God the best that I have. Their, them being so young and being willing to leave everything behind and give their time to serve God and to come and reach other people to talk to them about Jesus. It makes me, it makes my heart happy to see what God is doing and to think about what God can do when once it's willing to put ourselves in, in His hands and just let Him do His work. And it's really awesome to see how teamwork can make everything happen as well. I would like to take this time to thank everyone and all the members at LifePoint Church for all the work and all the prayers that you guys do for our church. It's a really huge blessing to be serving God with y'all. God bless you. This year was definitely a fun time coming into it because we've had, because of the two other ones, we've done, uh, we wanted to come into this one with a new attitude and a fresh start. and kind of rethink things and we wanted to again make things new while kind of remembering the past for those who have been coming to the past ones we wanted but we just wanted to have build a, as best VBS we possibly could and we had an awesome time doing it the students we put a lot of hard work into it and it was fun working with Chris here just putting everything together in order to implement and so far as of the fifth, fourth day now. It's been the best one yet. We've had an amazing time here. The students have been performing exceptionally. They're always spending time with the children here at San Antonio and everybody's just getting along well and uh, we look forward to the next couple few days here at uh, San Antonio worshiping with God and with these kids and kind of heading home safely. You know, uh, this mission trip is a, a new experience for me. Uh, being a new, a new pastor in this youth at, at LifePoint, um, I feel like kind of like the new kid on the block, you know. Uh, not knowing what to experience, but excited and nervous at the same time. Uh, before, before it came along, I would never planned a VBS. I had never been a part of this large of an event at all in the planning stages, um, but very thankful that I had uh, Brian Jones, our associate student pastor, and, and Chuck, uh, Pastor Chuck, that he had, they were both uh, really essential in helping me, guiding me, uh, really in planning and training, making this a success, and it has been so far. So far, you know, we're on, we're on day three of the VBS, and it, it's going really well. Um, we've had lots of kids coming in, excited, and I didn't, I didn't know what to expect uh, coming into it, but God's just really been a blessing to, to have faithful leaders and also to, to bring in kids when, you know, that's, that's not something we can really do. We can promote, we can encourage, but really the kids coming in it is up to God, and He's, he's really blessed us with that so far. Um, the most thing I, that I'm excited about about this trip is uh, bonding with the youth and also seeing the, the little kids 
uh, have their lives changed. You know, over this time period, um, I've already seen a couple kids ask about God, and that's just been exciting to me. And, and so we're looking forward to, to some uh, changes, some life changes, to some salvation uh, for some of these kids who, who have never known God, who have never known Jesus. So uh, I'm really excited about that, and I think we're going to see that these last couple of days. But so far, this trip has been a great success. Um, and I really just want to thank all of our leaders, everyone, including John de Guzman, Brian Jones, Victoria Werlas, Pastor Chuck, my wife Juliana, just everyone's been such a great help here so far. And without them, we wouldn't have been able to make this trip a success. So uh, I just want to thank you all and especially everyone back home who supported us with the funds that we needed to make this trip possible. Uh, and supporting us with prayers for, for every student uh, who came because you, if you didn't know, these students are growing immensely during this time. They've told me so far uh, that this is the best trip they've been on from, from previous years. And the new kids who have come, they said they've really enjoyed it and they want to come again next year. So um, thank you so much for all of your support and uh, we love you guys.